Ok, uh, buenas tardes, uh, my young Farawas. Let's do another awesome video uh, by the Profe. Well, uh, we're doing inequalities, two-step inequalities. And inequalities means we have this greater than, less than, or less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to symbols. Uh, we still solve them the same way. We do two steps, and we still do the two steps that we did in the equations. Uh, same thing. Same, uh, first step is to do the opposite of add and subtract. Second step is to do the opposite of multiply and divide. So in this case here, uh, it's plus eight, so the opposite is to do minus eight. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna subtract eight here on both sides. And you cancel that. And now you bring down the <coughs> Bring down the 2x, okay, bring down the 2x. <coughs> Greater than uh, 24 minus 8 is what, 16? Okay. And now we're gonna put it on this next table here, or I'm sorry, next rectangle. Uh, 2x, only because of spacing, I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, and so now <coughs> we solve the first part Second step is to do undo multiplication because when you see a number and letter next to each other, that's multiplying. And so we're going to divide by, by those. You cross that out and you get uh, x has to be greater than uh, 8 because uh, 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay? And so now we're going to graph. That's my equation. Uh, x, remember, the equation was x is greater than 8. So I'm going to put here, x is greater than 8, and so on my number line, I'm going to grab, I'm going to put the negative, the x is greater than 8. So here I'm going to put an 8 on my number line, and then on the right side here, I'm going to put uh, the next number, which is 9. And then 10. I can use any numbers, but I'm going to go with uh, what's in order. So 8, 9, and 10. On the left side, I'm going to put the numbers that go in order here. And this would be 7, and this would be 6. Okay. And so now what you got to do is, uh, <clears throat> let's see which, uh, which way we're going to make our graph. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put a circle here, an open circle. Okay. And then you're going to ask yourself, uh, let's substitute, instead of x, we're going to put an 8. Is 8 greater than 8? And of course, 8 is not greater than 8, it's equal to 8, but we don't have the equal symbol. So then this is uh, not true. So we're not going to shade in the circle. Okay. And then I'm going to pick a number on the left side, and I'll pick 6. Is 6 greater than 8? And of course, six is not greater than eight. It's a fact it's uh, less than eight. So that didn't work. And so let's go to the right side. And let's put there, is nine greater than eight? And of course we know that it is greater than eight. So this one works out. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna graph it according, uh, I'm gonna make a line from the circle, which way it's true, which, which uh, way the equal, I'm sorry, the inequality is true. And so we're going to make a line going this way. And that's telling me that 10 is greater than 8, 11 is greater than 8. So all numbers from 8 this way, uh, greater than 8, are going to make the statement true. Okay, and that's uh, the answer to that one. 